You guys better appreciate this. Hey guys, it's Caroline. Today, I'm going to talk about communication with your parents. This is a video in a three-part series about how the way we use slang affects our relationships with parents, professionals and teachers, and peers. Three of the most common things I hear from teens these days are which really isn't true at all. When you say they don't know me, you may be telling the truth, to be perfectly honest. Think to the last time that you spent real quality time with your parents. Was it before high school or even middle school? If so, they really don't know you. Your interests have changed since you were 12, obviously. When I was 12, all I would listen to was Taylor Swift and I read a lot of fluffy books. Now that I'm older, I don't listen to as much Taylor Swift, I'm more into more alternative things, and read more deep things than what I used to read. If you don't spend time with your parents, they're not going to know you. I make a point to show my mom the music I'm listening to and the movies I'm watching, just so that we can connect better and get along and have a great relationship. Last night, we were driving home from church, and I played her an entire Reliant K album because I thought she would like it. There were some weird songs on it, but I think she liked it overall, and it really helped us bond. She texted me while I was at school, yeah, and said, I really enjoy it when we bond and listen to music together, and so it's really cool when you have a great relationship with your mom. When you say, they don't get me, there's two things here. They may not get you because you're speaking like a foreign language to them. If you were to say, OMG. I totally ship sure, Lolly. It's my OTP. Most people wouldn't know what on earth you're talking about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, hey, more power to you. On the flip side of that, they do understand what you're going through. They were young adults, teens, whatever you want to say, once too. And so they have an idea of your struggles. Even if it's a little bit different, it's still pretty much the same. The other day, there was a certain article of clothing I wanted to buy, and my mom didn't particularly like it, and she explained to me that when she was my age, she wanted the exact same thing. So really, it's nothing new. When you say, they don't want me to have fun, what you're really saying is, they're not letting me do dangerous things. So if your mom or dad doesn't want you to go out and drink and party, they're not doing that because they don't want you to have fun. I swear in most cases, that's not the case. I mean, unless your, your parents just really hate you, but I don't think that's true. When they're doing that, they're only doing it because they know it's best for you. Because like I said, they've been through these years too. They seem to have made it through fairly well if they've raised you and you're here. Listen to what they say, they actually know what's best. Sometimes things that our parents say may seem kind of illogical to us because we may think differently than they do, but odds are they're going to be right because as much as our prideful teenage, teenage, I, I don't mean teenage, our prideful young hearts like to say, I know what's best for me, it's a different era. Oh, we really don't. They've been through so much more than us and they have so much wisdom to offer. That it's actually a really great idea to listen to what they have to say. Don't be prideful. It's not going to help you ever, anywhere, ever. When you miscommunicate with your parents, there are some labels. So your mom may be all, What have I done wrong with her? She's acting so rebellious. And you may be all, Ah, my mom just does not get me and I have to vlog about it. She's such a stiff. When in reality, you may not be acting rebellious. I mean, if you're, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. You may not be acting in a rebellious manner, but since you and your mom have miscommunicated so much, you're thinking that she is just so uptight and doesn't know anything about fun. She's thinking that you're rebelling and acting out and wondering where the heck did I go wrong with this kid? So make sure that you communicate with your parents where you're coming from. Something that my mom does is she'll explain to me why she's saying no to something. Like I said with the shopping story earlier, she knows what she's talking about and she, she, 
tells me why she knows what she's talking about. If your parents don't explain to you why they say no and they just say no in the most respectful manner that you can, ask them why. Ask them for their reasoning and their insight as to why this is a bad idea. That'll definitely help you see it from a better angle and it'll seem more logical. We need to be intentional with the way that we communicate. I walk up to my mom sometimes and I start talking about all these YouTubers and these fictional characters and these, um, these movie stars and she has no earthly idea who I'm talking about. If I walk up to her and start talking about Bonky Hork Cutie Brunch, she's just gonna look at me like I'm, like I'm Bonky or bon Bonkers. That's the word. Make sure that you're trying to communicate with them. If you want to have a good relationship with your parents and you don't want to constantly be at odds, Make sure you're trying. That's all I can say for you there. Are there any ways that you communicate with your parents? Any tips that you have? Put them down in the comments. Our quote for today is from Ephesians 6.1. It says, children, I know you hate being called a children, but a children, a child, but it's just the Bible. Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. And by obey, it not only means do what they say, but respect them. Just give them respect, you'll be good because that's the right thing to do. Song suggestion for today is Come Right Out and Say It by Reliant K, again from their album Five Score and Seven Years Ago. I just, I adore that album. Sorry about ya. Really, it's about not beating around the bush and just saying what you need to say without trying to sugarcoat it or, what's the word, insinuate, manipulate, all of those things. Just come right out and say it and yeah, you do that. Make sure that you like, subscribe, finally know where the button is. I looked and made a point. I was intentional in finding that button. How about that? So subscribe, share, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at It's Not Carolyn. Have fun, change the world. I would listen to Taylor Swift and I got a video. Yeah, that's a text. Morgan. Mm -hmm. You enjoy that? You know you did. How do you? Uh, blah, 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 blah.